What's going on YouTube? Jelani from JelaniTheMarketer.com back again with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use ClickFunnels, get started with it, um, and ultimately just kind of give you a little small crash course on what to do when you first get it because a lot of times people come into ClickFunnels and they don't really understand how to use it, they get really overwhelmed so I kind of want to dumb this down a little bit um, and we're going to build a simple opt-in form and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Um, so if you don't have a ClickFunnels account, definitely click the link below so you can follow along get a two-week free trial, full, um, no limitations. You get to just use it and play around with it so you can kind of see what it can do. So what you want to do is when you log in, you're going to see your funnels here. Um, and actually, let's, let's actually go to the main dashboard. So the, on the main dashboard, there's like a little game that you can play. Um, and you can kind of get familiar with the system if you want to do that. So you can click... Uh, either play or resume playing if you already started playing um, but the main thing here we're just going to go to our funnel so now you see the tab here we can browse funnels look at the contacts that have been opted into our different funnels we can look at sales and we can also buy funnels from the funnel marketplace um, so let's go browse funnels here you can see here that I have all my funnels listed if you click add new that will build a funnel for you um, well, different. You can either select a template or you can use the classic funnel builder. Later on in this video, I'm going to use the classic funnel builder because the cookbook builder process has some issues where the funnels aren't um, working correctly all the time. So I kind of just want to limit that and just build out the funnel using the classic funnel builder. And I suggest you guys do that as well. So we're we're gonna get into that, but I just want to give you guys a little overview of the back end. So you can see um, browse funnels, contact sales, funnel marketplace. You can actually build funnels from here too. So if you click build funnel or add new, it does the same thing. Um, you can search for funnels from the search bar here. You can see your plan information here. Um, I actually downgraded. I used to have a $297 plan. I just downgraded to the $97 a month plan. And the difference is the $97 per month is you get limited um, amount of contacts. You get limited amount of visits or excuse me you get unlimited contacts but you get um, limited amount of visitors you get limited pages and you get limited funnels now the reason I did that is because I don't really use Actionetics and Actionetics is the email provider that they have on um, ClickFunnels where it's kinda like an autoresponder inside of it uh, I wasn't really using it so I just downgraded to save me about $200 um, but it is a great service and Batpack is um, the affiliate management system inside of ClickFunnels so if you wanted to build out a product and have affiliates for that product you would need Backpack and that comes with the Edison Suite which is the $297 per month plan. Um, so the account is where you want to go to set up your account details so you would go to account details um, and here you can give your so when you build up funnels you have like a subdomain on the ClickFunnels account so I can just put Jelani the marketer so now every time I build out a funnel um, it's going to say jelanithemarketer.clickfunnels.com unless I apply a domain to that funnel so jelanithemarketer.clickfunnels.com click save so now that's saved here you can edit the um, your you know your information you can add a photo edit your name add add your address add your shirt size change your password your affiliate settings um, etc account billings where you would switch your accounts if you want to upgrade downgrade um, personal page templates so you can save templates inside of ClickFunnels this is where they would lie digital assets is if you're trying to upload like a PDF file and you want to add that to a button that's a little advanced but there's articles um, in the ClickFunnels knowledge base that shows you how to do that integrations is how you can set up so if we go to integrations here this is where you set up your different um, in integration so in this example I have active campaign HTML forms actionetics um, I have two active campaign accounts actually um, this is a page notifier which is their equivalent to proof you can add different integrations like Twilio so if you want to add a new integration you just click add new so if you, for example, had something like a Weber or Constant Contact Trip or ConvertKit or anything like that, you can quickly um, integrate those. You can also integrate your Facebook pages, um, Kajabi. There's all different things that you can integrate. So you just kind of look for whatever whatever you're looking for, or you can just type so just to see. So for example, if I want to type Twilio, I can just type Twilio, and then Twilio SMS will show up, and then I would just click integrate. Um, and you would just enter your information. So you would enter your account at ID, 
authorization token and from phone number. Now again, the knowledge base, the ClickFunnels knowledge base is really knowledgeable um, and they have a lot of articles on how to set these different things up and also if you ever need help, just reach out to the ClickFunnels support team and they will be more than happy to help you set up your different problems that you have if you know also hear integration help docs so you can get more help. Payment gateways is how you set up your payment gateways so if you have Stripe account um, that's what I recommend that's what I use. I use Stripe to accept payments for the different things that I offer um, and then you can see there's different ones like Infusionsoft which I do not recommend. Infusionsoft is horrible um, in my opinion I think the program is archaic and it has so many issues with ClickFunnels in terms of integration so I would not recommend that. Um, Warrior Plus is great, JVZoo, everything else is great. The only issue is pretty much Infusionsoft. Um, but yeah, so in my opinion, I think Stripe is the best and it's the easiest to set up, so I would set that up. Um, and you can also just look at the help docs to do that. So outgoing SMTP is how you would set up your email, outgoing emails. So um, in my account, I have Syngrid and that's what I recommend for SMTP. They give a free trial, I believe, up to 20,000 emails sent, and then after that, it's $10 a month, 40,000 emails per month set. So that's a lot of emails, so you can just get the free trial and be good. Um, and that's how you're able to send out like fulfillment emails via ClickFunnels, and um, if you have Actionetics, you would necess you would definitely need SendGrid, uh, but if you don't have Actionetics, um, it's still good to implement that because if you're using fulfillment emails like I said or any type of outgoing emails from the ClickFunnels system you're going to need an SMTP. Um, again, they have all different articles on the side so that you can quickly find the information on how to integrate that. Um, so yeah, and then domains is how you add different domains. You can add um, as many domains as you would like. Um, and if you're new to ClickFunnels, you can get a free domain with ClickFunnels, so they'll purchase the first domain on your account for you. So if you're just getting started, you don't have a domain, you can just buy one from ClickFunnels and they'll set it up completely free, which is awesome so you don't have to spend that extra money, especially if you're just getting started out. Um, so you just add the domain. One thing about domains is you have to make sure that the C name, so wherever you're using, in my, in my case, I use name.com and namecheap.com to buy my domains. So I would go on my DNS records, which is where the domain is hosted, and I would make sure that my C name for the root domain or the subdomain is pointing to target.clickfunnels.com. Now, if you don't know what that means, reach out to the ClickFunnels support team because that is one thing that a lot of people get mixed, mixed up on is like, how do I set up my domain? So that's one thing. If you're if you're pretty techy, then you understand what I'm saying. Is the C name has to point to target.clickfunnels.com for the root domain or for the subdomain, um, depending on what you're trying to do. But if you're not techy, then you definitely want to reach out to the ClickFunnels support team, and they would help you gladly help you with setting up your domain name. Um, so that's one thing to remember. Global unsubscribe is where like you would look to see if people unsubscribe for your list, so you can see all these people unsubscribed um, from my list. And I believe that happened when I downgraded my account, actually, so um, that's okay. Uh, so now what we're going to do, since you saw all this, um, it's kind of like a mouthful. We're going to build out our first simple opt-in funnel. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to funnels, and we're going to use the classic funnel builder. Again, I could click build funnel, but um, I don't know if that pops up the screen. Um, so let's refresh this really quickly. Let's go back. Let's go to Browse Funnels. And one thing about ClickFunnels is if you have an issue, you always want to clear your browser's catch. So like you just saw the CSS on that page mess up. I would, since I'm filming, I'm not going to do that. But after I'm done filming, I want to clear my browser's catch because that will help pretty much pretty much any problem that you see on ClickFunnels. It happens because your cache is not cleared. So Get familiar with that, clear your cache so that the system can reboot and kind of get the the browser to understand what is happening. Um, and I'm pretty sure that your problem will be resolved. And again, if, it, if it's not, then reach out to the ClickFunnels support team. So what we're going to do is click Add New. We're going to click Classic Funnel Builder, click Create New Funnel. And for this funnel, since it's going to be an opt-in funnel, we're just going to collect the emails. You can see here there's three options, collect emails, sell your product, or host a webinar. If you want to sell your product, then you would create a sales funnel essentially. If you want to host a webinar, you want to create a webinar funnel. Now, the one thing that I will note in this video is that when you want to create a webinar funnel, you want to make sure that that funnel 
is created from scratch and not like you building out a um, building out like an opt-in funnel then adding the webinar funnel later. You want to build out the webinar funnel first and then add the opt-in funnel after that um, because the webinar funnels are the one funnel type that has to be created from the actual starting point of the webinar funnel. If that makes sense. Um, so we're going to create collect email. So we're going to click that and we're just going to say demo opt-in and this is very simple um, it's very simple to do uh, it's just two pages essentially it's the opt-in page where the person enters their email address and then the thank you page and they have a lot of different templates that you can choose from um, to get started so you can choose a two-step video opt-in um, you can also if you don't like these templates you can also start from scratch I really like this one um, I like this one and this one so I'm going to select this one. If you select template, it's going to apply it, and you can click preview. One thing that you can do, though, um, you can see up here that there's different options. So you have opt-in sales, webinar, membership, quick pop, miscellaneous. Um, so you can see that if you click add new step, and I'll show you that in a second, but if you add new step, it gives you this blank template, and you can choose which one you want. So for this purpose, we're going to click um, a super clean opt-in. So let's just say that we have the opt-in and it's like get your free cheat sheet as the first um, opt-in step. All right. So the first thing we need to do is we need to click edit page because we need to make sure that we have our integration set up. So if you're using an outside autoresponder like ActiveCampaign, MailChimp, Aweber, uh, ConvertKit, etc., you want to make sure that it's connected. So you want to go to settings, go to integrations. And you can see here it says not connected. So we want to uh, connect the integration for our email autoresponder. So in my case, it's active campaign. So I'm going to click active campaign. I'm going to add that person to a list. And then you can select the list. So um, for this example, let's just say demo list. And you can see that it turned green, and that means it's connected. Now, here it's going to have a green check mark here, and that means it's connected as well. But none of these. Um, other options will have a green check mark. This is the only one that will have a green option uh, check mark. So that's that. Um, so one thing to keep in mind is this button here. It says submit the page. One mistake I see a lot of people doing is when they set the action, they set it to go to next step in URL. Now that's fine if you don't want to collect information, but if you're collecting anything like names, phone numbers, emails, um, anything like like that, you have to have it's set to submit order slash submit form. This is the only way that ClickFunnels knows to collect this information to go into um, your autoresponder or go into the back end system. Okay, so none of these will submit the form. Um, go to website URL, none of, go to next step, that will not work. Um, so if you're just trying to collect an email address, like in this example, then you want to make sure that it's set to submit order form. Now, you can change the colors and, you know, so if I wanted that bold text to be, I don't know, this blue, I can change it to that blue. Um, and then you just click save and that will save it. One thing that you want to keep in mind is you want to change the SEO metadata. So when you save the page for the first time, it's going to open up this page. You want to give your page a title, give it a description, give it a keyword, give it an author, and even give it a social image if you have one. You can also ac access that by going to SEO, SEO metadata from the settings. And that will pop up for you. So now that we have that, we're going to click save and you can switch and toggle between mobile and desktop um, by just going here. So if you want to look how it looks on mobile, sometimes the pages don't look great mobile optimized. So one thing to keep in mind, this is just a quick tip, is you can clone sections and make certain sections specifically for mobile or desktop. So you saw I just cloned that section. What I'm going to do is go to settings here and I'm going to click mobile only. And then um, now you can see that that one this is only here for that. And now I'm gonna make this section desktop only. So now this is only desktop and this is only mobile. So then I can change. So for example, if I wanted the mobile text to be red instead of blue, you can see here that the desktop is that greenish blue color, and then the mobile is that red. So that's just a quick tip that you can kind of make your pages mobile optimized by duplicating and then just setting the option to mobile or desktop only. So let's go back here 
And so now we're going to submit the page. Once the page submits, it's going to go to the thank you page, but we need to set up that thank you page. So let's go to the thank you page and select a template. And uh, let's just choose a basic one, like this or something. Well, let's choose this one. So it's like a three step thank you page. All right. So that's all good. We can change it again by changing, going to edit page and just editing the text. But one thing I do want to show you is that you can click add new step here and it will add a new final step. So in this example, let's just click um, demo order and create final step. And we can move this to put it into um, the second position here and now you can see that's asking if we want to have an email opt-in template no we don't want that so again we can change the template type from the beginning by covering over these um, options here and in this case let's select order form and it's going to give us the order form option so we can add an order form by clicking on the template And again, you can edit that information by clicking edit page. But you want to add the products by going to products. Add product. And you want to make sure that you have your payment gateway set up. And we're going to give this a product name. We're going to choose Stripe. So we're going to say demo product. Amount $10. One time. Demo. One time, right? So this is all good. We can override the, the price display if we want. Um, and this button right here is making it a bump, but we're not going to make it a bump. A bump just means that you're, it's like an add-on. So for example, if I wanted to have uh, express shipping, I could make another product and then select this as the bump and then have the, the name express shipping. So then if that person wanted express, express shipping, they would just click the box on the order form. So let's go to fulfillment email, and this is how uh, what I was talking about fulfillment emails earlier, where you need an SMTP. If we don't want the fulfillment email to be sent, all we have to do is erase the subject line, and that will not send out the uh, the fulfillment email. So you can see here, we can also add an integration from this option as well. So we can select active campaign if we wanted to. We can add people to list, and if we have a buyer list, we can select the buyer list from there. So let's create the product or clicking create product and now you're probably wondering how do you test this how do you test it to make sure that it all works so if you have an order form what you want to do is you want to go to settings scroll down here and before we scroll actually let's give this a domain so let's say we didn't want the Jelani dot or Jelani the marketer dot clickfunnels.com domain what we do is just select the domain from here so if I went to my ecom apex domain I can select that and now it's going to say e ecom apex.com instead of Jelani the marketer dot com dot clickfunnels.com so let's turn this on to test mode by toggling on the te test mode button and then save and update settings so now this funnel is in test mode so if we wanted to actually take live orders it's not going to work so you can see here the, the name change, ecomapex.com slash opt-in, blah, blah, blah. So to test your funnel, what you want to do is open up a window inside of Incognito. Now, this is the proper way to test your funnel. Um, don't In the editor, don't click preview to test it out. Test it inside of an Incognito by going to this little arrow here and going to open new link in Incognito window. And that will open up the funnel and incognito window and then we can test it out one thing you want to note is that when you're testing out your funnel multiple times you want to use different email addresses and if you don't have different email addresses what you can do is add numbers to the end of this and now treat it as a new email address but it will still go to the the you know regular email address so let's um, download the free report 
that's going to submit because we have it to submit. And you can see here it says warning test mode enabled for funnel with Stripe. Use this test card. So we're going to take this number and that's going to be the test credit card number we're going to use. It already has my email address in there because it's sticky cookie. We're going to put in that card number we just copied. We can give it a fake CVC and we got to make sure that the expiry month is in the uh, future. So 2019. And we're just going to cl click complete order. And that's going to bring us to the next funnel step, which is going to be our thank you page. Now, if we didn't have that order step there, so for example, let's go out of here. We know it worked because we tested it out. If we didn't want this demo order here, we can delete this. And what's going to happen is it's going to, as soon as we opt in, it's going to send us to the thank you page instead of the order form. So if we were to test this again, it's going to send us to the thank you page. So again, we'll test it out by opening up a new incognito window. put in our email address so let's give it another number download the free report and then boom we're at the thank you page so that's a way to set up your opt-in forms um, and make sure that it goes into the appropriate list by setting up the integration um, and also just you know this is a simple opt-in so if you want to have a free report or something like that you can send them via email um, if you wanted to kind of do it a digital asset way, I recommend going to the knowledge base and learning how to do that because that's a little advanced and I don't have enough time on this video to show you how to do that. But if you guys want a video like that, how to upload digital assets in ClickFunnels, please let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't got your free affiliate marketing training, definitely click the link below because that will get you started with ClickFunnels as an affiliate marketer and you can make up to $3,000 per month by just promoting ClickFunnels and I know multiple people who are doing that um definitely check out the interview i did with greg jeffries and he talks all about being a ClickFunnels affiliate and how he's able to quit his nine to five by just promoting ClickFunnels. so definitely grab that free training by clicking the link below if you haven't subscribed definitely subscribe because i have a lot of great content coming forward and guys thank you so much for watching my videos i appreciate it i hope this video was helpful for you if you're just starting out with click funnels um, because I know it can be really daunting and kind of just overwhelming when you first get into the system But once you understand it once you learn it, it's a very simple system to use and very powerful system if I miss must add um, For multiple, you know if you're trying to sell something or just trying to get people on your list or trying to uh, Promote affiliate offers, etc. It's very powerful. So um, I hope this kind of gets you started. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye